It's a long season. And whether players make their living in the NHL, the KHL, the Elite Syrian, SM Liga, Swiss League, or any of the many other leagues that populate the hockey world, as many as 400 of these players extend their season by another three weeks or so to play in the IIHF Ice Hockey World Championship. Now reasons vary between players as to why they like to come over and participate in the uh, IIHF Ice Hockey World Championship, but a common thread amongst most of the conversations that you have is something along the lines that they want to give something back. Give something back to the Federation and help them to develop their skill set to such a level that they can live the dream and play hockey for a living. It's different. I mean, you, you don't go, uh, I don't come over uh, with the mentality of winning a gold medal, you know. That's uh, that's that's the hard part, but it's okay, you know. It's it's for us, it's or for me to come over, help the team, help in the locker room on the ice as much as I can do, stay in the eight pool. It's really a good question, because it's like, uh, how to say, it's like paying it due to the country that uh, raised you, you know. I don't know how, how, how else to tell it, you know, so pretty much they raised you and uh, then uh, gave you the opportunity to play hockey and... Uh, you got to pay it off. <laughs> uh, I think the jersey, you know, not the back of the jersey, not your last name, but it's the front. You know, it's a, it's a, it's about the country. It's a, it is it is a pride, and uh, I, and we have a great group of guys, and it's always uh, nice to to feel again that uh, that that chemistry. Do you feel that you owe something back to the development system that that developed you. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's one way of looking at it. I mean, for sure. Uh, if uh, and, and and not only the, the system, you know, but I mean the the parents, your your families, and uh, it's nice to get some wins. So like you see the worth doing it. There is also the aspect of players wanting to play. They've missed the playoffs or been knocked out early. There's a feeling of hey, let's keep this thing going. I want to play some hockey. You know, when you're not in the playoffs, I think it's tough to watch and just sit there and not do anything. So sometimes you want to kind of get your own, um, you want to keep playing. And if you can play a high, high competition level, and it might not be as big in North America, but in Europe there's a, there's a huge tournament. And growing up, you know, with Slovakian background, both my parents are Slovakian, I, I knew how big this tournament has always been. We don't do it because we get paid for it. We do it because we love it. And just to get more, more, more 10 games in the season is pretty nice. You know, I don't, I don't want to stop there when we end the playoffs on a bad note with three losses. So I come here and try to do something good to bring some emotions here. And let's not overlook what draws many of us to enjoy team sports. That's team sports. Pulling together working towards a common goal, bonding, becoming a team. The other thing is you come over and you get to meet so many guys from around the league and um, you know that's the big thing for me. You come over and uh, you get the chance to, to play and to play with uh, you know guys you're playing against all year and um, you know now you got you're, you're together every day over here for you know pretty much three weeks, uh, 24-7 almost so uh, you know you become pretty tight over a short amount of period of time. And Whatever the reasons, hockey and hockey fans are the big winners. It is a great tournament. Reporting for IIHF.com, I'm Paul Romanek.